family portraits. Let's have your fa family pictures. Go on, man. We'll go on. Going on. All right. Half and half. Sight and screen. <laughs> Ooh. So you lose the portraits, but we go on to the next category. It's for you, David. How many moves would you like to go for? Two, three, or four? You haven't told me the category. No. Won't make any difference. You've got to get what we give you. OK. <laughs> uh, two. <laughs> hits of yesterday. Yeah, a two. All right. This crybaby had a hit with a song about a little white cloud. Peggy Lee. It's wrong. So you've got a chance now, Greg. This uh, crybaby had a hit with a song about a little white cloud. K-Star? No. no. Oh, OK. We come to you, Pat. Johnny Ray. Johnny Ray is right. And who complained in song, You Give Me Fever? Peggy Lee. Peggy Lee, you take the two moves. Well, Gary, straight the screen. A hundred pounds. You want to bank that? Or thank you, Dave. Thank you. Want to bank it or rip it? Or do you want to go on? Go on, all right. Go on, go go on, on then. Go Be go a devil. Straight the screen. <laughs> Folding bicycles. Oh, you sound like that. Right. Love, isn't it, Pat? Yeah, yes, great. Next time they come down the Dolan office and you get on your bike, you've got one there, haven't you? Yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah. David. Next category is children's classics. Children's classics is the category. Two again, please. Two, Two again. again. Yeah. Which of these authors wrote Alice in Wonderland? Robert Louis Stevenson. Is wrong. Lewis Carroll. Lewis Carroll. Yeah. <laughs> we go on. We go on. We got another one. Yeah. We got another one. Yes. Which of these authors wrote Huckleberry Finn? Mark Twain. That's it! Yeah! Where you going? That's it, that's it. <laughs> cool. Oh. Nice to see you again, nice. Les. How's, how's, how's everything been? Well, not bad. You know, you weren't around here, but you weren't there. Oh, so. weren't there. Strike the screen, Les. Compact display, a lovely prize. Yeah. Yeah. Going on? Strike the screen. Yeah. Call this cottage music. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, lovely prizes. It's a Cornish cottage weekend. All right, I know it's a long way up there. <laughs> well, you've got them. At least you're off and running. Well, so the next category was for you, Pat. Yes. Which is yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> See, he's David. Greg, you're Pat. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, nothing's got to change it as well. <laughs> British Prime Ministers. Yes, I'll, yeah. I'll have three of those. Yeah. <laughs> I know most of them would be happy. I know there's one who wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, Pat? Yeah, yeah. Can you tell me the first name of Prime Minister Macmillan who led the country in the 1950s? Harold. And what was the first name of Mr Chamberlain, who was Prime Minister at the start of the Second World War? Neville. That's right, you got your two moves. <laughs> oh. Actually, you didn't need two moves at that actual point there. You were on one screen, but I did have to ask a minimum of two questions anyway. The fact that I've got it wrong, it's up to me. Isn't it? <laughs> oh, my brain here. OK, strike the screen, Gary. <laughs> oh. I can't believe it. All right, we come back to you now, David. You've got a chance now to move across? <laughs> Catchphrases. Two, three, or four on catchphrases. Two, three, or four moves. Two. Two. For your first move, with whom are the following catchphrases, catchphrases associated? Nick Nick. Jim Davidson. Jim Davidson. And all in the best possible taste. Kenny Everett. Kenny Everett. Two moves. <laughs> well, Tracy, strike the screen. See what you got this time. A hundred pound. You want to bank it? <laughs> All right, you're coming over? Right, strike the screen. Ooh, you lose the £100, I'm afraid. We come to you now, Greg. It's customs and traditions. How many moves? Two. Two. For your first move, where does the annual pancake race take place? Oh, I'm afraid to start here. Haven't you? No. Well, I'll take a guess, eh? Hey? Um, Cambridge. No, it's wrong, I'm afraid, Greg. So, Pat, it goes to you. We come back up here and we've got the strike it lucky question. This gives you a chance, Pat and Gary, to go on to our final tonight and win anything up to £2,000. But we're going to ask you that question in a couple of minutes' time. We'll see you after the break. Bye. <laughs> Welcome back.
to strike it lucky. The situation we've got Les up there on the top, Tracy's just here on the uh, over the halfway mark on the bottom, and Gary's on the main strike it lucky question. And the answer where does the annual pancake race take place? It's only in Bucks. There we are. Never mind. Okay, right. I'm going to ask you this question now, Gary and Pat. You give, I'll give you time to confer. I'll ask you the question again, then I must have an answer. Who was the hat check girl at the cavern in Liverpool until striking it lucky? Um, Scylla Black. Scylla Black's right. You're going on to tonight's final. Let's give a nice round of applause. Gary, <laughs> Tracy, come down there. Well done, Greg. Well done, thank you. Well done, Les. Well done. Oops. Well, there you go. All right, Tracy and David, uh, you've got a choice of hardback books and a week in Malta is a lovely holiday to look forward to. And Greg and Les, you've got a Cornish weekend in a cottage and a compact disc player. So there's a lovely prize there. And Gary and Pat, you've already won a MIDI hi-fi system, £250. And... <laughs> a folded bicycle. You can read as well. <laughs> I can't remember all of them. They have to put them up in the car. <laughs> Thanks for giving the game away, love. All right. <laughs> Let's give them all a nice round of applause. Come on, Pat. Let's go. Right now, to play the end game, you move across as before, but this time you play the game horizontally and vertically. I'll ask you which move you want to make. You shout out top, middle or bottom. If you look at the screens there now, you can see there are ten arrows, ten questions and ten hotspots. If I ask you a question, it'll be true or false. If you give me an incorrect answer, it becomes a hotspot, a correct one, you gain another move. Now, to go for our top money tonight of £2,000, you cannot hit any more than two hotspots. For £1,500, no more than three hotspots. And for £1,000, no more than four hotspots. And remember, whatever you want, so far, that's yours, whatever happens. Before you make a decision, the computer will jumble them all up. They've all gone. So what are you going to do? 1,000, 1,500 or 2,000 pounds? What do you think they should do? I think, I think 1,000. Yeah. I think it's the safest. I, th I probably won't win. It's up to you. I think this will go for the... Play safe and go for the thousand. You're gonna play safe? Yes. Well, I, it's up to you. All I right. don't suppose we'll win it even then. Oh, you don't uh, suppose you'll win it? Oh. No, but. Well, I but, hope you do. But, um, you know, oh, play really. safe, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, play safe. All right, yeah. let's, let's go and do it then. Come on. <laughs> All right. We're going to that sound there. Right. Just yeah. oh, <laughs> stand right, beside right. Gary and yeah, follow me okay, across, yeah. okay? Right. All right then, for a thousand pounds, no more than four hot spots, top, middle, or bottom? <laughs> bottom. Question. The Red Crescent is an organisation similar to the Red Cross in mu Muslim countries. True or false? True. That's right, you gained a move. Okay. <laughs> top, middle, or bottom? So then, yeah. Top one. Yeah. Top. top one. It's another question. In singing, a baritone is the lowest male voice. True or false? No, it's the middle one. Tenor's right. the highest bass. That's right. <laughs> 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 That's another move. Top, middle, or bottom? You get Gary. The bottom one. The bottom! Oh, another question. Well, it doesn't matter with you. You know what they are, <laughs> anyway. Sorry. It's all right. No, I'm going to be sorry. That's marvellous. Lake Titicaca is the largest freshwater lake in the world. True or false? Uh, false. That's right. It's the highest steam navigated. Lake Superior is the largest. That's another move. You haven't used any hotspots yet, top, middle or bottom? You guess, Gary. Oh, the top one. That's another move. Top, middle or bottom? You guess again, Gary. Top, middle The middle, the middle. Oh, that's it. Well, we've got a great situation there. You did a great job with answering those uh, questions as we're going over. There's Sorry. five screens, not allowed to hit any more than four hotspots. So if you do it on this one, you're through. Top, middle, or bottom? You get the top. Oh, top. The top one for a thousand pounds. Yeah, that's it. Well done, Pat. All right, well done, Pat. Come down here with me. You stand there, Pat. Go. You like come the other side of me. Let's have a look at the monitors. Let's see what they all were. <laughs> well, that's incredible. You did very well, there, indeed. A mini high five. You see, you won it. You said you wouldn't win it. I was very surprised. Well, there you are. <laughs> Make sure you pay the tax on it as well. Yeah. Right. 
You've got a mini hi-fi system, a folding bicycle, £250 you won earlier on. Add that to the thousand, £1,250. We had a lovely evening with you. They've been great contestants. Let's give them a nice round of applause. So we see you at the same time next week. Good night, God bless you. Good night. Thank you. Esther Ranson is one of the VIPs in the hot seat tonight on Celebrity Millionaire at 9 on Challenge. I wonder if she'll bring a humorously shaped carrot along as some sort of good luck charm.